All right, let's keep the show going. We got one more tournament battle. The next coming up, he's the punk rock grave digger. Give it up for Nick Fierro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it to me now. Give it to me now. Give it to me now. Hello. Give it to me now. Yeah, yeah. How you feeling yeah, about the tournament, Nick? Yeah. Iffy at best. <laughs> okay, that's not a lot of confidence. Next coming up, give it up for Corey Smithson. <laughs> No, how fucking jacked is Mark Henley looking like? Hell yeah. Let's give up for Big Arms Mark, everybody. Big dog, big dog. All right, big all right. Dog. All right. He doesn't vote. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, That's Mark, what call for. He's a big hog, too, Mark. He knows I want his respect because I want to be a jacked guy like Corey is. Mm. Corey has to be jacked because he's so short. <laughs> yeah, you're short. Or is, am I taller than him? Barely. Mm. All right, we gotta get the place started. I'm, my looks are not trying. Let's get the story. Yeah, that's an honest see? moment. I'm taller than him, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, which one of you guys wants to start first? Okay. I'll go. All right, Corey's going first. This is uh, five jokes, tip for tat. Let's get going. All right. My opponent, Nick Fierro, also known as Ryan Rummel's friend. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's a bartender at a hole-in-the-wall bar. That's the first place that I met him. It was a hole-in-the-wall bar. And I first met his wife on the other side of a hole in a wall. <laughs> first blood. Corey's a real gym rat. Likes to lift and pump and run. Doesn't matter how hard you work out, Corey. Nothing's going to change the fact that you're five foot six. And that's a girl's height! That's how tall girls are! Girls height! Girls height! Girls height! <laughs> oh, it's such an honor to be roasting the goth kid from South Park. This is amazing. I, <laughs> I asked Nick what the deal with his fucking glasses are. Look at these goddamn glasses. Like They're like old man frame. I was like, why are you wearing those? And he's like, I want to look like I rape children and also be able to see myself raping children. <laughs> Perfect timing. Thank you, Thousand Yard Stairmaster. <laughs> Uh, Corey shaves his entire body. He's hairless like a dolphin. And also like a dolphin gives off quite a bit of a rapey vibe. <laughs> nice. <laughs> back off my jaw, great. Um, where am I? Um, <laughs> look at this fucking Whole Foods Undertaker. I... <laughs> Yo. Yeah, Nick's got a look to him. Nick looks like his dad was an extra in Sons of Anarchy, and his mom was just a dirty bar rag that he jizzed into. All right, uh, I'll see what I'm not saying Corey's an off-putting incel raised by hill people. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. But that being said, if you're here, who's back at the homestead rinsing off mother? I agree. <laughs> Uh, Nick is a very progressive type of guy, uh, but he's covertly racist, and I could tell. I actually ran into him at a BLM march last summer, and uh, he was supporting black people, but I noticed his hand was on his wallet the entire time. <laughs> no. That's a, heavy, that's a heavy hit coming from the six million Confederate dollar man. At five foot three, Corey wishes he could have stormed the Capitol. <laughs> But all they let him do was storm the lowercase. <laughs> storm the lowercase, guys! Storm Capital. the lowercase! Ah, uh, wordplay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rock and retard. All right, good. Uh, <laughs> last joke. Good. We're bringing in nice and soft for a landing, both of us. This is nice. <laughs> Failed together. Um, I, uh, I was also a bartender in Jersey City, and uh, recently Jersey City cracked down on underage drinking. So I asked Nick, what's it gonna be like not having a bunch of 19, 19 year olds get fucked up in his bar? So it's not too bad. Now I just got all these roofies left over that I don't know what to use for. There appears to be a receiver off the hook. Please hang up. Thank you, American history, not over his ex. <laughs> Good. Pick a number one through four. Uh, let's go four. Oh, shit. All right, great. I wrote a lot of jokes. Corey looks like a masseuse that refuses to touch any skin darker than a brown paper bag. <laughs> you oh, picked yeah. it. What is that? Guys, give it up for that battle. Yeah. I think I'm tall. 
We're tall guys, right? He's 4'11", you're 6'8", Mark. Hell yeah, guys. Guys, give up for this battle. Andy, what do you think happened here? Uh, I think uh, Corey looks like he calls the cops on Nick for skateboarding. Yeah. <laughs> um, that battle was good at the beginning, and then I, I don't know what here makes you guys nervous. It's sparsely populated in this room. <laughs> and, uh, but no, and then uh, I don't know if anyone knows, but Nick throughout the whole battle was slowly making Corey shorter, and I thought it was brilliant. <laughs> Like he started out at like 5'9", and then went 5'6", and then he ended on like 5'3". I thought that was brilliant. Um, you short? I'm buttoning another button. You short? Uh, uh, give it up for the tall king, Nick. All right, one for Nick. All right, comedy fight club. Who do you think won? Is it Nick Fierro? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck okay. you. Or is it Corey Smithson? <laughs> Alright, that's that's pretty even. That's pretty even. Lamero, who do you think won this one? Uh Corey looks like he should be on the cover of Guns and Ammo magazine. <laughs> okay. Damn, dude. I don't know. This is tough. <laughs> this is a tough one, because you both did well. Uh, <laughs> up until that, those last two jokes. He did. It was a little Why'd you let him pick, Nick? Cocky era, I'm going Corey. <laughs> That's one Nick, one Corey. Josh Wells, the original big dog, who won this one? Uh, you're all short. <laughs> Power move. Um, I, it was close, man, it was close. I feel like this is a very even match. It's my favorite match of round one. Uh, I'm going to give a tiebreaker to Whole Foods Undertaker. Corey, you got, you got my vote. His name is Nick. Uh, Nick. Corey won. Which one's Whole Foods Nick Undertaker? Nick is the Undertaker. He called you the Whole Foods Undertaker. Oh, okay. um, so I thought that was, my bad, I thought that was a good joke. Yeah. Sorry, the arrow up here is right. thin. So. That's two to one, Corey. <laughs> Corey wins this one. He's going out to the next round. Guys, that was the first round of the Big Dog Invitational. I feel you win. Uh, 